on the previous episode. Man. Booyah! Can you see me? Can you see me? What's up, guys? So I'll turn it off. I'm ready to go. Um, I ain't like make up my bed yet, so it's okay. Um, I'm getting ready to go to run some errands. To be honest, I shouldn't be going anywhere. Um, because I had to leave work early yesterday. Because I've been dizzy and like lightheaded, really, really weak um, to where I feel like I can't, like my legs can't support me uh, for long periods of time. Like by the time I walk from the place where we um, sit and eat and then walk to the casino floor. I'm exhausted. I'm, I feel like I've been running a marathon. Or something, child. Um, but because I was raised the way I was raised, if you ain't going to work, you need to be productive. So, I got to go run some errands. Which equals pay some bills. Um, see, like right now, I'm 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 totally out of breath. I'm I'm tired. Uh, we have a clinic on on site so they gave me some I got a shot in the booty <laughs> it was some antibiotics and I got uh, some medicine um, some what the heck is this uh, prednisone <laughs> some prednisone so I have to take these And then they gave me a moxicillin. So I got to take that as well. Um, I took this and I took my prednisone this morning. Um, I got to call and make an appointment to go into my to go into my doctor um Because the last time I felt like this was in 2012. And um, that's because I had lost so much. Um, I had lost so much blood. So I had to have a, uh, a partial hysterectomy. So I don't have my girly parts. Um, they did a... They did a uh, a partial, so I don't have my uterus, and I don't have my cervix. So I still have my uh, fallopian tubes. Like, it's taking everything in me to go outside these doors. I got to go downstairs. Get my jacket. Unless it's one right here. Oof. I even hate to go down these stairs because I know I'm going to be tired.
and I was going to push myself to go to work today. But once I start moving around and all that, I was like, no, just, just go ahead and stay home that way. Because I don't like to put them in the bag when I, um, I see what they have to go through to get somebody out that's sick or that needs to go home. And to me, it would just be easier for... Hold on, y'all. Girl, I got to sit down for a second. It's not as bad as it was yesterday. But I'm not me, and I know it. I'm a fast walker, and um, for me to have to take my time, walking, I know there's something wrong. Um, but anyway, yeah, what I was saying was... Um, it's just I feel like it's just easier to just call out when you know when you know that there's a possibility that you won't be able to make your entire shift. So um, that's that's what I'm doing. So let me get off of here so I can catch my breath. Cause talking and already being out of breath, my head is hurting. And yeah, I check my blood. Uh, pressure when I first went to them it was a hundred over 60 and I never run that low so I got something to eat and then it went back to 120 over 80 which was phenomenal for me um, I didn't get a chance to check it this morning I was going to check it this morning but I can't find the um, back to my high blood pressure machine so I looked for it but I, I couldn't find it down there under the cabinet everything is organized under there so I don't know where it's at but let me let me get off of here and rest some more before I um, go out Alright guys, so I'm in Big Lots and um, I came in to find a rug for the boys room and I got this one. I know you can't really tell but here's the pattern of what it looks like and then kind of matching it up with this. just want to play off of the textures and um, hopefully what I'm seeing will work because I like the colors if it if it was just plain it would work better but it's a boys room so I think it'll be okay and then I get them two chairs, um, and I'll show that to you guys, you know, once I put everything together. So right now I'm just waiting on some help to come and uh, get the other um, book that I got for the dining room.